G'day guys, Greg here. Now I was walking through Coles the other day when I came across this product right here. Faux Pro Protein Pizza. I got the Italian salami one because I mean, who doesn't love Italian salami? Now the thing that caught my eye about this pizza is it cost $12. Whoa! -ho! <laughs> but what's so good about it is that it's made with nutritious Faber bean protein. Faber beans are my favorite said no one ever. Now, Faber bean is actually a broad bean, but why that's so important, who knows? Maybe it contains lots of protein, but I'm wondering how much Faber bean's actually in this, and salami for that matter. Well, let's find out. Oh yeah. Well, the pizza base is 66%, and it's mainly wheat flour, but if you keep going right down there, it says Faber bean. Wow, that's amazing. Mozzarella cheese is 9%, salami is 8%, tomato paste is 7%, Kalamata olives 58.8% .8 minimum. Honestly, reading the backs of these things just confuses me even more. But if it tastes any good and it's supposed to be like healthy, I wonder how many of these pizzas I can eat in a day. Oh really? There's two servings per pack, average quantity per serving is 1360 kilojoules times two is 2,720 kilojoules, which means you could eat like three and a half of these pizzas every day and still stay within your average daily intake. Wow! Although it is only 325 grams, so I mean that's still a kilo of food you can eat, which sounds like a lot. So if you're into eating kilos of food every day, this could be the pizza for you. Anyway, let's open the box and see what she looks like. Oh yeah, there's tons of salami. That's what she said. All right, how do we even get into this box? Say, use up a whole couple of slices of energy just trying to get into it. Oh. All right, here it is. Oh, wowzers! That looks like a lot of salami. That's what she said. Check out the girth on that salami. That's what she said. Well, I'm sure I'm going to have to crack this open. I'm pretty sure you don't leave it in the plastic wrap to cook it. So let's have a better look. All right. Okay. Well, there's, uh, you can see the olives on there. It's looking pretty good. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, you can see plenty of olives there and well, not really. There's a few. Uh, there's lots of red capsicum there and there's the cheese and your salami. Mate, that is looking all right. All right. How do we cook this thing? Cook for eight to 10 minutes or until cheese is fully melted. The crust is golden brown and toppings are fully cooked. Remove carefully from oven and serve. Caution, product will be hot. <laughs> it's a sad world we live in when they've got to tell you that when you take something out of a hot oven, it's going to be hot. Speaking about ovens, let's heat this one up. Okay, well, I've got a fan force one. And uh, 200 centigrades. So I'll prepare my pizza base. Stick some oil there and shove that on. Now it is about the size of like a Domino's or Pizza Hut large pizza. So, well, does it look any better though? Well, we'll find out after it's cooked. Right, well the oven's heated up. So in she goes. For eight to 10 minutes. I'll stick it on eight and I'll come back and check. Well, I kept my eye on it and this was about 11 minutes and I was a bit too scared that if I kept going with it, you know, you can burn crusts and stuff. So, well, 11 minutes and that's what it looks like. I must say it smells pretty nice. Maybe I should readjust this for cutting the pizza up. Get a bit of salami on each bite. Uh, which piece will I try? This one. I don't want that much salami in my mouth. That's what she said. I don't think it'd fit. That's what she said. Alrighty then, well, I'll start off with this piece without the bit of Kalamata olive that might distort the flavour. Mmm. 
Mm. Not too bad. Actually, I should have tried some of this crust. Mm. I ain't getting no favour, Bean. It's crunchy on the outside, a bit soft in the centre, but it tastes all right. Now, with the olive and capsicum and salami. Man, just tastes like a frozen pizza to me. It actually tastes a little bit cool in the middle still. I probably could have done with a little bit more time in the oven, but then would I have burnt it? That's the problem with these pizzas, isn't it? Yeah, you just don't know. It's either underdone or overdone. Very rarely is it done perfectly. But the flavor of this is all right. I mean, it's, it's nothing special. A homemade pizza would taste heaps better than this. This is uh, just a okay tasting pizza and the flavor is not that special. I mean, it tastes all right. Don't get me wrong. But it is one of those frozen pizzas. It tastes like a frozen pizza. But as far as frozen pizzas go, it's not too bad. Actually, that salami has got some heat to it. It's starting to warm the back of my throat up. So, but if you're not into spicy food or anything spicy, I don't think you're gonna like this one. The saltiness of the pizza is really good, except when you bite into that calamata, it really boosts that salty flavor up, which you either like or you don't. I can't really taste the cheese though, or the capsicum. It's basically just a spicy salami and calamata pizza. Now I think it's okay tasting, but I wonder what the Grego meter will think about it. <laughs> All right, well, well, it's going up. Well, uh, there's no surprise it's going up actually. Uh, I thought, well, actually it's going up a lot further than I thought. Oh, hang on, yeah. Uh, that's about where I thought it was. Oh, 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 it's going below where I thought it was gonna go. Gee, it's going right down. I mean, it was all right, but I thought it was better than that. What? Oh, hang on, it's, it's on its way back up. I think it's gonna, oh, hang on, it's it's hovering around that section. I thought it was a bit better. Oh, so did the Greg on here. Uh, oh, oh. Well, just above the average. Oh, well, no surprise. $12 frozen pizza that just tastes okay. I'm amazed the Greg o meter went that high. <laughs> but I suppose this pizza is for someone who's into fitness and proteins and Faber beans with 50% less carbs. 50% less carbs than what? <laughs> I mean, it tasted all right. It's very expensive, so I probably wouldn't get one again, but if I was like a billionaire, well, I'd have my own chef to make my own pizzas. Well, there you go, the Fro Pro Protein Pizza. <laughs> Try saying that six times fast. But uh, yeah, it was all right, but it wasn't great. Well, I hope this video helps you decide what to try, what to buy, and what to avoid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Eat a frozen pizza. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen. Where